On today's episode, we're back at Polte Homes at their Deer Lake Ranch Master Plan Community, looking at the Skyline Plan 1 model home. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we're standing in front of the Plan 1 of the Skyline portion of the Deer Lake Ranch Master Plan Community. This home is built by Polte Homes, and you're probably wondering, where are we? So right now we're in Chatsworth, California. We're in the north part of the San Fernando Valley. If you were to get off at the 118 freeway at Topanga Canyon Boulevard, uh, whether it be east or west, uh, you would turn north to where Topanga Canyon dead ends. You would hook a right and you would just follow the road up to the model homes at the Skyline community. Let's go inside. All right, guys, we're now inside this plan one at the skyline portion of the master plan Deer Lake Ranch community. These homes are built by the national builder, Fulte Homes. We've already looked at a couple of their homes in the Horizon track and also another one, the plan two at the skyline here. This is plan one. So the plan one floor plan has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a loft, a covered patio, balcony, two car garage, just to give you a few, um, it actually has 3,206 square feet. The base price on this floor plan is a million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Obviously, that goes up with the, depending on what structural and design upgrades you actually decide to have added to it. All right, so we're going to start from the beginning here, and throughout this home tour. I'm going to give you a bunch of information. Make sure you stay till the end. Polte Homes offers something that I haven't seen any other builder offer. So make sure you stay to the end. And I'm going to go into detail about that and how that's actually going to be really advantageous if you're looking for a home, not just here in new construction, but it kind of really differentiates themselves from everybody else, whether it be resale or new construction. All right, so let's start right here. As you come around here, as you uh, enter the home, you have your first bedroom downstairs. You have your high ceilings with your recess light. They have the custom wallpaper on the uh, west wall. You got your standard carpet flooring. Down here, you will see your luxury vinyl place, which you see through a majority of the house. This is the bathroom that serves the downstairs bedroom as well as the guests. This is, you see here, your quartz countertop vanity, your custom hexagonal tile in the shower, going all the way from the top to the bottom. All right, so here at the Skyline Community in Deer Lake Ranch, you have a total of 104 home sites. They only have 46 left. They're gonna be starting phase eight pretty soon. So something to keep in mind that if this is something that you like, uh, you probably want to act sooner or later, and you're going to want to get on the waiting list. I'm going to talk about the waiting list in a little bit. So this is where we entered from, and you see this really tall ceilings here as you enter this foyer, right? And put you into this large great room. You have your oversized center island with the wooden leg. You have your sink basin here with your stainless steel appliances. Now the base package doesn't include a Sub-Zero refrigerator. Um, your appliances will be stainless steel, but they will be kitchen age elite. Uh, Wolf would be an upgrade, whether it be here with your dishwasher or you got your microwave and double oven right here and the nicely designed stainless steel hood. Your kitchen countertops matches your backsplash right here and you have your dark cabinet. So the dark cabinetry goes perfectly with this lighter colored flooring, all right? So this is a really nice space here. You have enough room to put four chairs at this breakfast bar area. And always you can have a nice glass of wine with friends and a nice entertaining space. And then right over to the left of that, in the direction that we are facing, you have your formal dining room. And your formal dining room has plenty of natural light coming in. 
has these really large windows. And check out the modern light fixture. You're seeing that quite often these days. And again, with the very high ceilings, uh, you do have uh, the opportunity yourself to put the system in, but the actual pre-wiring is included for your surround sound system. Obviously, you have to buy the actual surround sound electronic devices portion of that. So as we come over here, this is your large living area and see how they have it set up that you have plenty of room to put two couches. You could put one like they did facing the, the actual kitchen and then you can divide it up and essentially divvy up the room. And now you have this other couch right here facing where your TV would go. And then come over here. This is obviously an upgrade having these stone faced wall. Uh, otherwise your wall is gonna look like that. It's just gonna be a standard wall. Now, one thing I wanted to show you here, right, is this. You know, how many times, it seems like every video I'm talking about indoor, outdoor living space, but look immediately right to your right. And I purposely left the doors open because I wanted to show you what these stackable doors look like. So if you leave it open on a beautiful day like it is today, I mean, essentially this is a continuation of your living space here under this covered patio right here, right? And it's more of a balcony on top. And so it's sealed up on above. Your surround sound speakers continue to the outside. You have the fireplace, which is an upgrade. It's not something that you wanted to be able to do. Now I wanted to show you the, the stackable doors themselves. And that's because Look at these, I'll show you from top to bottom. So standard, it comes with three. And if you wanted to get that fourth door, it's about a $5,000 upgrade. So that's a pretty easy one to do. A lot of times we see the 90 degree stackable doors and typically that ranges from about 45 to $50,000. So let's step outside since we're down here right now. And you can see it gives you an idea once again of what some of your options are. So they have the artificial grass, they have a sitting area on the gravel pit. And then obviously this is what one of the view lots would look like. Now, one thing I really wanted to clarify is about the view lots. Now, they will have a lot of view lots available, especially in phase eight when that gets released, um, but they're gonna be more of a scenic view um, unless you actually purchase the model home at the very end, uh, because the model home is perched at the very top, you're not gonna have a lot of opportunities to buy a view like that. So I just wanna be sure you have the full disclaimer on that when you're looking at the view premium lot, but it's a pretty good sized lot. And then you can see the balcony and deck above. We will be checking that out momentarily. And here they put in a beautiful kitchen center out here in the backyard. You got your stainless steel a barbecue grill, your beverage refrigerator right there. And of course the refrigerator itself. And then you have your nice infinity edge uh, spa here with that incredible view looking into the San Fernando Valley. This is the view you want, especially if you're looking to watch the fireworks on the 4th of July. Let me tell you, this is the view that you're gonna be itching for. All right, so let's go back inside. So we were talking about phase eight, right? And so if you wanted a dirt lot, right? Because right now they currently have a lot of move-in homes. They have six move-in homes, which are looking from August to October to move into. So on those, right? Most of the structural and design upgrades have been chosen. Sometimes you'll have a cabinet hold or a flooring hold that those are the last things that need to be decided upon. But other everything else, electrical and other upgrades have already been chosen by the builder. So if you want a dirt lot and you want to be able to choose uh, all of your structural and design upgrades, then you will probably have to be waiting for phase eight. And that brings me to getting on the waiting list. So I highly recommend getting on the waiting list. And the reason being that you want to be on that waiting list is that once they have a lot or a premium lot available that you're looking for, you have to be on the waiting list. So that means that you've already been 
pre-approved by their lender, or if you're an all cash buyer, you've already provided your proof of funds to them. So once you're on the waiting list, um, then you have the opportunity to really pick out the lot of your choice. So that's a, a really big step. Hey, Scott Himmelstein guys with the Scott Himmelstein Group, real estate agent here in Southern California, specializing in new construction, but we also help buyers and sellers and investors buy, sell, invest in real estate here all over Southern California. All right, so we're talking about new construction here today. And one thing that's really important is that I don't represent the builders, so we represent you. And the reason why that's really important is that when you're buying new construction as opposed to resale, there's just so many decisions that you have to make. It's quite overwhelming. And so that's where I really come in and being able to kind of walk you through what things actually make sense for you down the road. If you're going to be staying in this home 10 to 15 years, you know, you kind of want to think about some things for resale maybe down the road. So maybe a twenty-five dollars or a $50,000 upgrade, if you're going to enjoy it, that's great. But if you're worried about resale, then this is the conversation I can walk you through, whether it be maybe a tile backsplash, a floating staircase, things like that, that maybe it's not the best investment for you. Maybe you might be better off investing that money in something else into the house, a different design. So that's where it really helps kind of just having an extra set of eyes and ears and being able to kind of look out for you things. And speaking of which, if you looking to know what you need to know right now, we have a 30 page guide of all about new construction here in Southern California. And that way you'll be able to find out what the latest in incentives are from all the builders here in Southern California. All right, let's get back to the home tour. All right, let's go upstairs. As we do, uh, let me tell you what the schools are. The schools are gonna be uh, Germain Elementary. It will be Lawrence Middle School in Chatsworth High School, They're located not too uh, far away. Uh, the Homeowners Association due is currently at $450. They expect that to go down to about $350, uh, once they, everything's completely built out. And that's because they'll have more funds in the reserves for the HOA once everybody has moved in and all the homes are sold. So it'll be a lot easier for them to be able to reduce that HOA. So that's the plan at least. And you are adjacent to, at least the model homes are, to their Canyon Club. And we're gonna do another video on the Canyon Club. Oh my gosh, guys, that Canyon Club is spectacular. It's like being at an all-inclusive <laughs> resort. So wait till you see that video. Stay tuned for that for sure. And then as you come off the stairs, you have your loft area, and then it has its own sitting area in front. This is standard on the plan one. And again, give you a better vantage point of what the loft looks like. All right, so this gives you a really good idea of what the standard carpeting looks like. Because a lot of times we see the higher end flooring in the models. But here you got your luxury vinyl plank. That will be an upgrade. If you wanted the stackable stone, that would be an upgrade too. And this is your half bath for your guests to use while they're sitting up there on the loft. And this is your first bedroom. So you have three of your four bedrooms located upstairs. Kind of turn around. And this one has its own private bath attached to it. There you go. You can see the vanity counter. You got a walk-in closet. And then right here, you have your shower in tub. All right. Okay, so that is bedroom number two, your first bedroom upstairs. Here you have another bedroom. All right, this one also with its private bath. Pretty much the same. Again, shower and tub. And your walk-in closet. Now, what's nice about that, if you have kids, you know, you, now you have a variety of different options. A lot of times, you know, if you fully have the, the tub in the primary bedroom, it's problematic. And this way, you know, you're right next to the kid's bedroom if that's what you're using it for. So... Here's your laundry room. This is located upstairs, right off the staircase with your sink, your dark cabinetry, and your upgraded floor. 
And that leads us right into the primary bedroom. So a very large space. And over here, you will see a sitting area. Now the way they have it customized is you have a beverage refrigerator and look at all the extra cabinetry. And you got a mowing sink right there. So you got your nice little wet bar, beverage refrigerator, nice sitting area with the modern light fixture. And that leads you right out. Open this up right here onto your deck. So this is attached to the primary bedroom. And you can see today we really picked a beautiful day to come out here to Pulte Homes in Chatsworth, California and give you the full picture of what it looks like. So I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that feature for sure. All right. And here you come to your primary bath, which is attached to your primary bedroom. This is the first of two walk-in closets. And then you have two separate vanities, right? Separated by the standard soaking tub. Who doesn't like that after a long, hard day's work? And then this is your second right here, walk-in closet. And then I wanted to show you this too. Here is your shower. And I'm amazed by how many people always tell us that they, one of the things they really like in their shower, especially for new construction, is a shower vent. Makes sense, right? But um, a lot of people really like that feature. So here you have that. Obviously you have your upgraded uh, tile in this uh, shower, but you do have your shower bench. All right, let's go downstairs and uh, tell you a few more things uh, before I promise to give you the information which I promised at the beginning of the video. So um, we talked about the HOA. Um, the property tax is approximately 1.3%. I think they kind of rounded up on that. There is a slight bit of mellow roots which is impounded into your tax rate. Uh, something else uh, that you should know about is here in California, obviously solar is required for all new construction. Currently, it's $18,700 to purchase and $111 a month to lease. But that's gonna be changing soon. And that's because they're now, um, and I shouldn't say now they, the builder, um, now the state of California is requiring a battery pack on top of that as part of a code. And so as a result, the cost of the solar uh, package is now $31,000 when that actually comes into effect. So something to keep uh, in mind about about that. So um, it's a great floor plan. Again, you're looking at 3,200 square feet. At your base floor plan, your price, a million four twenty nine. I mean, if you're here in the North San Fernando Valley, there's not a lot of places you can go and get a home 3,200 square feet for a million four twenty nine. So obviously, you put in your upgrades. Um, the sales staff said most people average between. Fifty to a hundred thousand dollar upgrades in the skyline community, which still isn't bad, and that's usually to upgrade countertops, flooring, uh, cabinetry, uh, things of that nature. As we kind of walk in here, and I'll show you the walk-in pantry really quick. So I think if you're looking for something in this price point here in the San Fernando Valley, uh, this works for a lot of people. Hence, why they've already sold out half of their uh, home sites. All right, guys. So I promised you at the very beginning, I was gonna tell you something that Pulte Homes does that I haven't really seen any other builder do. And that is they offer their own homeowner's insurance. And let me tell you why that is absolutely brilliant. And the reason being for is that these homes are in a high fire, high fire hazard zone area. That's a tongue twister, right? And so being in a high fire zone, right? Uh, as a result of that, if you've been looking for a, a home in a high uh, fire zone area in the last couple of years, and especially within the last six months, or you already currently live in a high fire zone uh, area, you know the difficulty about uh, getting insurance, retaining insurance, and trying to keep the cost low. I mean, it's just gone out of control, right? So we've had clients 
that, you know, try to get homeowners insurance on a high fire zone. And sometimes it's $13,000 they get uh, quoted and you kind of have to shop it around. And being the fact that most of the new construction up here in this part of Los Angeles County, whether it be in the San Fernando Valley or uh, up in Valencia, for example, up in Tesoro, uh, up in uh, Castaic, uh, Williams Home, just to name a few, all of those, you know, are considered high fire zone areas. So your, your homeowner's insurance is going to be a lot of money. And look, like if you're paying $10,000 a month, that's a lot of money in addition to your principal interest taxes and insurance. So what's great about Polte Homes is that they have their own insurance company, Polte, uh, Polte Insurance. And so it's brilliant because for this, your annual policy is just $2,200 a year. I don't even think I can get $2,200 on my own policy at my house and I don't even have new construction. So if that's something that you're concerned about, it's just a great feature. And to me, it's a no brainer, right? It's the same thing when it comes to financing. I mean, almost 95% of the time, it's gonna make sense for you to use the builder's lender just because they have a better interest rate and they have more incentives. And so selfishly, like it's gonna make sense for you to go with their lender. And it's the same thing here too, right? You're gonna be hard pressed to be able to beat that. All right, so if you guys want more information on Pulte Insurance, if you want more information about Plan One, Pulte Homes, Deer Lake Ranch, Skyline Community, Chatsworth, uh, homes in Los Angeles County, a uh, new construction, whatever it may be, feel free to reach out. Love to be a resource of information for you.